All right, so here we are. Uh, we are going to go ahead and get started with now having. Um, from a, so from from, sorry, from what I understand is that um, if we get the data, uh, if we get the data, the entire data set, where is it performed on the entire data set, right? And it takes out all the rows that uh, that don't meet the conditional. Then it, that then that cleaned data, quote unquote cleaned, uh, gets grouped by based on some uh, columns values, and then using those groups. So using that data that's now grouped up, we're going to apply having so that that so that the conditional in having is going to be applied to each and every one of those groups. So let's um, take a look at how that will work. So just starting off with the first uh, query, how many of the sales reps have more than five accounts that they manage? I'm going to continue using this uh, schema, uh, this ERD just to help us uh, guide. Uh, so let's go ahead and read from here instead. Um, so here we are. So how many of the sales reps um, have more than five accounts that they manage? So let's go ahead and let's get started first joining the data set. Um, and actually before we do that, um, how many of these sales reps have more than five accounts that they manage? So essentially, um, hmm. How many of the sales reps have more than five accounts that they manage? So what that looks like is that um, basically we're going to have sales reps that are going to be that are going to have multiple accounts, right? So uh, and what we can technically do is we can group it by the sales people, sales reps, and we can count it, and we can count the number of, uh, and we can count the number of accounts associated with that. Um, so, um, count the number of, uh, yeah. Now, uh, if, if we group it by the sales reps, we will then uh, be able to get the aggregate count, uh, using count to see how many accounts each manage because the sales reps are. The ones that are grouped uh, that are grouped for. Using this, we then we can then use where, because now we got the uh, uh, the data filtered and grouped, and now we can apply an additional conditional, an additional condition, in the in the havings um, section in which we can check for the ones that have more than five uh, accounts. So let's see how that's going to go. So again, let's get our first data, first our data set, and let's start off with sales, uh, sales reps, and set that up as S. Oh God. Okay. Um, and then account, and A, on F dot ID, um, F dot ID, equals A dot sales rep ID. Okay. So now we have full on. Um, we have the full data set combined in those two groups. Now what we can do is we can group it by, we can group it by uh, sales reps names. So let's get that. And that's basically now gonna, um, so hmm, I'm just trying to think how I would now, right, because, uh, I'm just trying to think whether I should do the select statement now or should I do it later? So we have the group, we have the data set we don't have any conditional yet, or do we have any conditionals? Um, where, hmm. um, I want to test out with just using um, having um, without, like I said, without using where. So let's go ahead and try that. Um, having um, count of now, and I can, I, I guess I could just do, uh, I wonder if that's even a valid notation. It's greater than five, right? Now let's go ahead and do that. Uh, now let's go ahead and get our, uh, our columns. So sales dot names, sales dot names, and uh, count a dot everything. Uh, yeah, because this one, so technically we have the data set, we have the two columns that are now grouped by sales names, and it should show the count 
And within the aggregation, we are now doing, we are now doing that. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. S dot names. S dot names. Dot name, actually, sorry. S dot name. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. And here we are. So as you can see the data itself is not showing any other um all the count of um accounts is definitely higher with Georgina with Georgiana Chesson having the highest. Now I want to check out the solution for this just because I'm a little um pretty I'm pretty new to using having uh, so that's why I want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Um right Right, technically we could get this away. Oh, wait, yeah. So how many of these sales reps have more than five? How many sales of how many of the sales reps have more than five accounts that they match? And technically we can get this using a subquery as shown below. The same logic can be used for the other queries, but this won't this but this will not be shown. Yeah, we can use using a subquery shown the same logic. The same logic can be used for the other queries, but this will not be shown. Hmm. This will not be shown. I don't know if I understand that sentence, but here we are. So select the count, the five. Okay, and then from and then we're basically just looking at an, another table that I guess you temporarily create. So in that ID name and count from accounts, and then you get the whole data set, and then you're going to group it by ID and name, having count greater than that. Hmm. Why take that? Uh, the same logic can be used for other queries, but, the, but this will not be shown. Oh, okay, I guess they're not going to show the second answer, like for following queries, and they're just not going to show the second alternative answer. Technically, we can get this using subqueries. Subqueries yet, I haven't really gone on to, but I guess you're just creating a temporary table in which you're going to do your own um, uh, filtering conditionals, and then you're going to present that table into the into the outside query, that not, which then gets um, executed late uh, at the end. So in this case, you get the data from accounts and sales, you group it by the ID and name, um, count by, right? Hmm. Interesting. That's quite the long way versus this. Okay. 